Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Spines TV. I'm Kalia Malcolm. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, March 5th, 2024. Now let's go to a live for Today in History. Thank you, Kalia. What's up, Patriots? Today in History on March 5th, 1979, the U.S. Space Probe Voyager 1 flew by Io, one of Jupiter's innermost moons. This moon was observed to have nine active volcanoes on its surface. This was an unbelievable sight to see since Jupiter's moons are mostly made of ice and water. The sight of volcanoes on Io was unbelievable. The volcanoes were caused by a gravitational tug of war between Jupiter and two nearby moons, Europa and Ganymede. This was an amazing discovery. I can't wait to see what they find next. Now let's check in with Samara for today's lunch. Thank you, Eli. Today's lunch is corn dogs, Italian sandwich, seasoned Italian sandwich, red bell pepper, garden side salad, ranch dressing, sliced peas, and your choice of milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is whole grain donut ring, Lucky Charms, String Cheese, Fresh Banana, and 100% Grape Juice. Students, please keep in mind the lunch menu can change at any time and to always bring the lunch card. And don't forget to inform your teachers if you are receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, let's get back to Kalia. Thank you, Samara. That sounds delicious. Tomorrow, 5th and 6th grade will have the chance to go to the Patriot Store. The store is open from 7.15 to 7.55 a.m. Make sure to come on time. Patriots, please keep your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times, and there's no chewing gum in school. Please spit it out before entering the building. Next Friday is the end of our instructional software. Don't forget that elementary will get a glow-in-the-dark party, and middle gets chicken with fries. But only if you finish the challenge. I hope to see you all. Last week was our Black History Show. I know some of you weren't able to see the show, so let me show you. And without further ado, enjoy our 2024 Black History Month show. Thank you! Summertime in the living is easy, easy. Fish are jumping and the cotton is high, Not everything that is changed can be faced, but nothing is changed until it is changed. To be given the right of a human being on this earth in this day, which we intend to bring into existence by any means necessary. There comes a time when one must take a position that is neither safe, nor politic, nor public, because one must take it because it is right. We are oppressed. We are exploited. We are denied not only civil rights, but human rights.
are killed by the police. The normalization of this is becoming, oh, way too common. If you're walking down the right path and continue to walk and continue to press on, you will make progress. While I may be the first woman in this office, I won't be the last. Don't let anyone ever tell you who you are. Never. We as people are able to reach a certain place of success. It is because someone before us made a great sacrifice. Justice is just a position in us. Justice for all just ain't specific enough. Wasn't that as amazing as I described? Here are our top unified kickboard leaders. Congratulations teachers, keep up the good work. Today is a special day for anybody who is interested in baseball. There will be an interest meeting if you would like to play baseball. The meeting starts at 3.45 to 5 p.m. for 5th and 8th graders. That sounds exciting. Next Tuesday is our boys' baseball tryouts. Make sure to get your completed sports physical and 3.0 GPA or higher. Next Tuesday is also our family night. It will be at Three Natives from 3 to 7 p.m. Their smoothies look so good. What will you order? Now let's feel the breeze with Daniela. Hey Patriots, today's weather is 81 degrees Fahrenheit with thunderstorms. It's a good day to pack an umbrella. Talking about thunderstorms, do you ever wonder how much lightning strikes the U.S. every year? Well, if yes, there are more than 36.8 million lightning strikes in the U.S. every year. That's one lightning strike per second. Our Ascension State, Florida, is known to have the most lightning strikes than any state in the U.S. due to its warm temperatures. But the evergreen state, Washington, has the least amount of lightning strikes due to the dry atmosphere. Well, you can call this shocking. Now let's wish our Patriots happy birthday with Giselle. Thank you, Daniela. Today's birthday boys and girls are Issa Mastrangelo, Demir Harris, Gabriela Silva, and Jordan Roman. Happy birthday, now let's go back to Kalia. Thank you, Giselle. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Valdez, Ms. Cavalita, Ms. M. Williams, Ms. Jordan, Ms. Arnold, and Ms. Nelson for getting the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, how many elements are in the periodic table? The correct answer was 118. To be more exact, 119. Today's daily challenge is... Daily Challenge! Which company slogan is, you're in good hands? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone here at RPTV would like to wish you a tremendous Tuesday. Have a great day!